Peace, family. This is Dr. Siddiqui K. Baye coming to you once again every Saturday, same time, same place, same rhythm, same frequency, same energy. So today is the day that our Lord has made and we must rejoice and be glad in it. You know, the Creator gives us opportunity to exist. So we must take full advantage of it and to fulfill our purpose for being here and creating a righteous legacy that will last for generations. So I'm here, family, to share with you and showing my gratitude and my appreciation to share with you what I have been blessed with. Because all of us have something to share. And as I always say, once everybody share what they know, look how big everybody become. So there's no need to hate or be jealous or anything. Because all of us matter, or we wouldn't even be here. Everything exists matters. So you should never say, uh, it doesn't matter. Everything matters, because everything has its purpose. And we here must find its reason to see if it fits or not but it still have the purpose. So today, and this month, which is the month of February 2022, is Black History Month, or should we say African History Month, or, or African American History Month, rather. But when you say Black History Month and African American History Month, it's, we could say it's the same. So I'll be using those terms, uh, you know, at times, you know, either Black History Month or African American History Month. Okay, so let's get into it, family. Let's get into it because I'm excited as usual. Very, very exciting. Excited. So Black History Month, let's start off with Black History Month. What is Black History Month? Black History Month is celebrated every February. Why February? Because it coincides with two birthdays. The first birthday is Abraham Lincoln's birthday, which is February the 12th. The second birthday is our warrior, Frederick Douglass, uh, uh, birthday, which is February the 14th. And every February, all of the black community celebrated this as uh, Black History Month. All the communities celebrated it because it celebrated what? It celebrated, it was celebrated in uh, the 19th century or 18th the late uh, 19th century or the late 1800s. It was celebrated. And it was celebrated be, uh, because of our achievements and our, uh, um, uh, our inventions, our achievements, and to celebrate each other. So why did they put Abraham Lincoln there? Because he so-called freed us. No one can give you freedom. Let me tell you that. Freedom is an inside job. No one can give you freedom. That's personal. Only you can go inside of your, yourself and adjust whatever needed to be adjusted. All of that is personal. So no one can give you freedom. As a matter of fact, he still had slaves many years after that. After they even started in it. Uh, the late 19th century or the, the late 1800s. But our warrior Frederick Douglass, he was a freedom fighter. And I really loved that brother for his courage and his spirituality to be able to, and as a team player, to be able to come up, step up, and, you know, and resist the negative forces that were uh, in existence. So... Not only is it about the 
celebration of two birthdays, but it was also uh, what 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 happened was the Pan African flag, which was created in 1920, and it was an emblem of Black pride, red, black, and green. And as we know, red represented the blood. Black represented the people. Green represented the land. That's us. Red, black, and green for family. And we need to come under this one flag. Why? Because this one flag represented, the, 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 the purpose of creating this flag was not only for black pride, but because we had common interests. And because we had common interests, it 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 uh, uh, should cause us uh, to come under one flag, to be unified. In other words, we must unify ourselves because of our, com our common interests. Yes. Now, because uh, what, what 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 popped to mind? See, a lot of things become a man when you when you're thinking and when you're. Uh, you, you you don't have a uh, uh, a written out program or whatever. Things just start coming, and you have to gather it and create a picture where people can uh, see exactly what you're giving them. Now, when we talk about this flag here, it comes. What comes to mind is reparations. Now, the reason why everybody else got reparations, they was under one flag. Now, we need to come under one flag. You got some of us say, uh, uh, I'm African. You got some say, I'm Moorish. You got some say, I'm uh, Asian. You got some say, I'm Indian. You got some say, I'm this and I'm that. No, we got to come out of, under one flag, red, black, and green. That's us. And once we come under one, one, one flag, then we can begin to unify our energy and our spirituality to force these wicked people to give us reparations, to respect us, really. Respect. I don't care if they don't love us. How about respect? They, they said even a dog deserves respect. And we don't even get it. So they look at us less than a dog. Because the dog supersedes any, uh, even their children. They say, oh, the, the dog and then our children. What? You know why? Because one of the reasons why is when it was up in the Caucasus Mountains, the most cold and rigid uh, uh, areas on the face of the earth in the northern uh, part of Russia, where no, no greenery grew, the, the dogs helped them hunt meat. That's why they were meat eaters. And they became animalistic because of all that meat. They took on the nature of the animal. Vicious. So they loved the animal. They loved that dog. They let them eat at their table, lay in their bed, lay on top of them. You know, got their babies all wrapped around the dog. They licking them all in the mouth and all of that. And keep in mind that all animals, family, have COVID. All animals have that. And that's why they said COVID started in China in this meat processing uh, uh, industry. All animals have COVID. Beware of them licking you all in your face and all of that. As a matter of fact, back in the day, we didn't even allow uh, animals to come in our house. Or they had a certain part of the house that they were only allowed to be. But since we integrated, we want to be like somebody else. So everything they get, we get. So we can never tell that it was all, always them. We need to learn how to mind our business. But that integration, that illusion of the integration caused us to lose sight of our reality. It took us back at least 100 years. We got to come up out of that. Because look at what's happening to us. And because we turn our backs on our forefathers, look at the curse. 
that came down to us through our children. And we have the nerve to blame, blame our children. This is, this is Black History Month, family. This is African History Month, African American History Month. And I want to start you off with this tremendous level of food for thought. And you don't have to believe everything I say. I know the truth hurts sometimes. You might not even hear of what I'm uh, are saying to you. But study for yourself. Study it. Prove it to yourself. There's nothing greater than self-gratification. You appreciate it more. So family, the Pan-African flag, which was created in 1920, was an emblem of black pride. Red, black, and green. That's us. Because of the reason that we had common interests. And so therefore, we should unify ourselves under a oneness, one flag. So family, it began, Black History Month began as uh, remembering uh, our accomplishments, our achievements as a people and each other. It's to remember to reflect back on our achievements and the accomplishments that we have made and to celebrate each other, you know, and to uh, celebrate the importance of our people and uh, um, not only the importance of our people, but the events that took place, which is, which is the center a central role that we played in the U.S. history, in the history of this country, to remember those things, the central role, center, center, central role that we played as a people in the United States. And that's some deep stuff, family. Did you know that black history is celebrated in Europe also. And there's three main countries that I can think of. And that's Ireland, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. Okay, now, why was it, uh, why is it celebrated in those three countries? Because it's, it, it, um, it was the time that it was the 150th anniversary of the Caribbean emancipation and the centenary birth of the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Those two things, the 150th anniversary of the Caribbean emancipation and the centenary birth of the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. That's why those countries got it. So a lot of those, when, when there was the emancipation in the Caribbeans, a lot of them moved to those three European countries. Even though we were already there originally, <laughs> we were everywhere. Don't forget family. Originally, there was nobody here on this earth but us. Everybody else came later. Even the ones that got caught up in those Caucasus Mountains, the cold, the ice age, and all of that and the pituitary gland calcified, it doesn't function. And the pituitary gland gives us color, rhythm, feelings, emotions, respect, reasoning, thinking, all of that. But theirs had calcified, and that's why most of them are cold-blooded. You know, aggressive, vicious, animalistic. And the ones that you have here are mostly the healed ones because of being around us. Don't forget, the environment dictates. So being around us healed them a lot. The leprosy. Don't forget, if you study history, 40 years of age was old for them. But being around us, they started living longer. But then when they flipped it on us, look at what's happening to us. 
Family, we need to study and know who and understand who we are and whose we are. Something happened to us, and a lot of it is not our fault, but it's still our obligation responsibility to do something about it. So Black History Month is celebrated, or is an annual celebration. And it's an annual celebration of the achievements. The achievements, family, by African Americans and a time to recognize our central role in this country. See, a lot of things be coming to mind. That's why sometimes I have to slow my pace down because a lot of things be coming up. See, when you're centered, when your center is centered with the universe, a lot of things be coming at you because the universe gives you swift thinking, swift answers. And they warn you uh, uh, before time, during the time, and after the time. So we have to have that discipline in order to control it. Because a lot be coming to mind. Once you start, then it, it comes. So sometimes I have to kind of slow myself down. Because I want you to receive it the way I give it, where I'm giving it to you. So you can see the picture. Because this, this picture is bigger than what I can give you. So family, during the Black History Month, or so-called Black History Month, slavery was still going on. Still going on. But these good old white folks gave us a week. Wasn't that sweet? Wow, they gave us a week to be who we really are and to recognize each other. Isn't that nice? <laughs> wow. A week. Because the the whole thing was centered around the Negro History Week. A week. It's 52 weeks in a year and they gave us a week to acknowledge who we are and to acknowledge each other. Are you for real? And not only that, they gave us the shortest month. And look at what goes on in that month uh, uh, other than uh, Black History Month or African American History Month. You got the President's Day. You got Valentine's Day. You know, what's that? Italian, is about, uh, white folks, which is the President's. The ones who, the ones that uh, created the matrix, which is a bunch of illusions and dreams or nightmares. And then God, we trust on the money. And uh, um, and 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 <laughs> man, it's just it's just so much. It's a deep thing, family. A week, fifty, fifty, fifty-one weeks. We can't be who we are. Only one week we can. We got to stop allowing people to dictate to us. We're not children, but we're allowing them to treat us like we are. And we should stop doing that. The black men need to step it up. The head need to step up. Man up. Mind up. Own up. Who's going to protect our women and our children if the man don't step his, 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 step it up. I'll get ready to curse there. Because <laughs> this is some deep stuff, family. All laughs is not funny. And just because you see me laughing don't mean it's funny. It's a miracle that we can laugh or even smile after all of it that happened to us and happening still. This is unbelievable, family. Slavery was still going on. They gave us a week, Negro History Week. Now is, you know, Negro, you know what came out of Negro, and, and, and Negro means black in Latin. But when they specifically talk about us, they changed Negro into nigger. And nigger is a, is a very uh, derogatory term, very negative, degrading term. 
even though anybody can be a nigger because it means an uh, ignorant one. But they coined it to be us and us only. Don't let them school you. Don't let them fool you. Check it out for yourself, family. I pray that I'm motivating, inspiring, encouraging you to go ahead on and take it to another level. And you'll see exactly where I'm coming from. Some of us have the courage to tell the truth. Especially when you're a team player. Everybody's not a team player. So family, we as a people have, have and had our hands in all event in inventions in the United States and throughout the world. We had our hands in all inventions, the righteous inventions, the inventions that will uh, uh, benefit us. And some of the, the inventions are the cotton gin. And let's just look at the cotton gin. Why would the white man invent a cotton gin when he had us as the gin? So there had to be somebody like us to do that, to take some of that hell off of us. Not only the cotton gin, what about um, blood plasma? What about the refrigerator? What about the stoplights? What about shoes? What about suits? What about coats? What about clothing, period, including underwear? What about the peanut butter and cosmetics? Wow. Wow. What about electricity? Ben Franklin only uh, created the bulb. Anybody can create a bulb, but the, but the filaments inside is what is the determining factor. And that's Brother Latimer. Study. You'll see. They always take credit. Don't forget, we weren't allowed to take credit for anything because we were property. And they still treat us like we are, like we are inferior. They did flip the script on us. So understand that, family. How about this one? Wow. This one that I'm getting ready to share with you is deep also. And this is that C.R. Patterson and Sons. They invented cars. Did you know that? At the time that Ford... Henry Ford uh, uh, manufactured his weak version of a, of a car. C.R. Patterson and Sons had superior cars, better built vehicles. But you know as white folks get mad, what do they do? Sabotage you. Destroy you. They won't finance you. C.R. Patterson. Check that out, family. And they gave us um, Oklahoma as uh, Wall Street. We had Wall Street all over, Black Wall Street all over this country. In the South, in the East, in the Midwest, in the West. We had Black Wall Street, but they only gave us uh, a sign of one in Oklahoma. No, that was just one. Don't let them uh, dictate to us. On what happened to us. We need to find out on our own. And the same thing happened everywhere. But it's all fear and intimidation. But a real man doesn't play that. And they know that. That's why anybody who represents a man. They devise a strategy to get you. And guess what they do too. They use our women and our children. See, they're not afraid of women and children. They're afraid of that black man. That's why everywhere they went, the first thing they did was to destroy the head, which is the man. Now the body is vulnerable, which is the women and the children. And as a matter of fact, they plant their seeds in the woman and create a new kind of child. And they're not going to relate to us because they already made us bags of degradation and dehumanization. And aren't they doing that today with these integrated relationships? Once upon a time, we couldn't even do that. We would have been lynched. Now, all of a sudden, it's popular. Why? The homosexuality and all of that. The brothers with white men and the sisters with white women. 
Why is that? That is done purposely. That's part of the matrix. That's part of the illusion. The matrix cannot function without people. Negativity cannot stand if it doesn't have any attention. No one gives it any attention because negativity will cancel itself out. We keep things going sometimes unconsciously. And when these integrated relationships have children, they're not going to relate to us. Just like back in the day. The lighter skinned ones gravitated more to white folks. This was all part of the design, family. We all been had. But the black man is the key to it all. The black mind. The one they call the sun. The little boys they call son. Why do they call it son? No coincidence. And I'm going to get to that later uh, about the sun and black. This is going to be something deep. So open up your minds because I always give raw food for thought, some deep stuff. So family, we were in, involved in all inventions, whether it was in the United States or all over the world. They didn't know nothing about no inventions. They don't. They not, they weren't even thinkers. They only became thinkers by assimilating to us by being around us. They didn't. Everything calcified on them. They didn't know anything. But they do now by being around us, and now all of a sudden they be thinkers. They the masters of everything. They know everything. And then when one of us shares something deep with each other, he don't know what he's talking about. So what does that mean? We have assimilated to them. And they bought our females. They give them all the opportunities, all the benefits, all the assistance, all of the jobs, all of everything. So that they can feel more superior than the black man. This is done by design, family. Don't go for the okie doke. Who's going to protect you? You know what I mean? They're not going to protect you. They're only using you. Slavery was specifically for the black man, the black mind, the, the black head, the king's dome. But yet everybody blame us for everything. Study your history, family. And don't allow them to tell you what to do or to think what to think. We're not children. So family, man means mind, a thinker, diaspora. A lot of us hear, heard a lot about the African diaspora. Well, what do you mean? That means a mass of people or a mass uh, dispersing of a population from indigenous territory so that means that we as a people we we migrated everywhere to other territories we were the, the only an indigenous we were the indigenous people because when them white folks came out of the, the mountains everywhere they went we was already there and even some of them say that we truly gods study your history these people are truly gods but they were haters at the same time because they didn't have nothing that we had. And we talking about sense included. So family, love ye, love everybody. It's not necessary. Love ye one another. So common heritage is what we had as a people. Common heritage. The ones who were scattered throughout the world. And it was about the family identity. That was the family identity was the common heritage that we had. And what was common in us? What was common was the tradition, the values, and the culture. Did you hear me, family? 
the values, the tradition, and the culture. Do you know who you are? What are you connected to? Who are you connected to? So family, the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, the one who founded the UNIA, United Negro Improvement Association, he had over a million followers and each one of them donated to his uh, movement. So he started the Black Star newspaper. I think it's called the Black Star newspaper and the shipping company. Because the white folks kept saying, go back to Africa, go back to Africa. No, they need to go back to Europe. Because they are the in, in, they they are the, the ones who are uh, uh, integrated. They were the foreigners. They need to go back, not us. But since Marcus Garvey heard all of that and we were lynched and all that, he said, okay, well, let's go back. So he created a, 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 a ship to take us back to Africa because there was two countries in Africa that, that were not colonized. And there was Liberia and Ethiopia. So every time we went there, we were all, always embraced and given citizenship to. Okay, let's check out the Berlin Conference real quickly. Let's study that, the Berlin Conference. What was it all about? I know some of us heard about it, but we, we're probably not aware of it. Okay, the Berlin Conference was a bunch of European countries that came together and they met in Germany, Berlin, Germany, and they had a conference. And that conference was in February, started in November the 15th, or the 14th, no, November, November the 15th, 1884, until February the 26th, 1885. And what was that conference all about? To colonize Africa. Why did they come together to colonize Africa? They, co they, they colonized Africa for three reasons. Economics, political reason, and religion. Did you hear me, family? Economics, because because Europe was going down to nothing. Po political, they came in with their politics of control, with the guns, and and the last one was religion. They had a gun in one hand and a Bible in the other hand. When it was all said and done, they had all the land and we had the Bible. <laughs> Are you for real family? And we still going for it. All the figures in our religion is white. White is right. Black get back. Brown get down. Yellow stay mellow. Black is always a badge of degradation. That they made that purposely. We're always sinners and always wretched. What about when I come out of it? Am I still that? Or do they get me stuck in the first grade and I'm always there from the cradle to the grave? That's how they got us. And that's why our children have lost interest in going to these uh, religious buildings. We have become so religious we forgot to be spiritual. Religion is a group or anything. Spirituality is an, a self-centered uh, thing with your relationship with the creator and our glorious ancestors. So which one are you? So family, I want to ask you a heavy, heavy question in conclusion. Is black a color? Some people know me, they, they know that I ask that question. Is black a color? Some say yes, some say no, and some say I'm not sure. Well, let's clear that up right here, right now. Black is, is the absence of light. Black, the light color, color is different pigmentations of the light.
different pigmentations of the light. Or we could say different shades of light. And black reflects the light. Reflects the light. Because the light can't exist unless there's black. Because the light reflects off of black. White absorbs it. I mean, it, you know, uh, white, uh, it bounces off, but black, it absorbs the light. So, is black a color? Black cannot be a color. It is not a color. You can see a blackbird. And depending on how the sun is shining on that blackbird, you see all kinds of colors. Purple, red, orange, yellow. You see what I mean? It reflects. So, now, in conclusion of that, let me tell you something that is real deep. Also, is that the only thing in the universe that there's only one thing in the universe that can exist without light, and that's black. Let me say that again. The only thing that can exist in the universe without the sun is black. So is there any wonder why we are African Omega? Is there any wonder why life originated along the Nile and the, the Nile River runs north? And the base of the Nile is black. When God breathed the breath in that clay that he formed, that's what made us have the soul. He breathed the soul, the breath of the soul in us. So we are the original soul man. Sam and Dave, I'm a soul man. And we are the soul man. Remember Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul? James Brown is the king of soul? No one can be that but us. We are the original souls. So black is the only thing in the universe, family, I can't say it enough, that can exist without light. Nothing else can. Check it out for yourself. So if they call us black, we are. If we are the original man, we had to come directly from God. So when you look in the mirror, there it is. The image and the likeness. So when I see myself in the mirror, there it is. The son of God. The little God. Woo! I know you don't like to hear that, some of you, but it's true. We've been brainwashed, family. Let's wake up. We're losing our children, our future, and we're blaming them. When you turn your back on your forefathers, these are the things that happen. You'll be cursed for generations to come. We have to take some of that. All of us made mistakes. But we can turn this thing around. And some of us are, but we need more. So Black History Month, family, African American History Month is us. And we must own that and make it an all-year thing, not just a month. Because 12 months in a year, let us be 12 months a year. 52 weeks in a year, let us be 52 weeks. 365 days, let us be 365 days. 24-7. We are. We are Alpha and Omega family. We are the beginning and the end. No one can be here without us. We are history. Family, I love you. I bless you and I want you to prosper. Stay strong and keep your faith where it belongs. That's the challenge. Life is for the living. Let the dead bury the dead. Everybody's not here for the same reason. But you have to have a strong discerning spirit to know the difference. 
Do your best and let God do the rest. You got to know when to hold and know when to fold. You have to have a sharp discerning spirit to know the difference. So you won't be using emotions. They made us overly emotional. But we need to think more. We are thinkers. Man means mind. A thinker. And a woman is a is a, a thinker with a womb. So let's train our little ones to be that. Keep your head towards the universe where all strength come from and never give up and never, ever, ever, ever give in. No matter how things seem, that's emotions. Because everything is, always was, and always will be in divine order. God doesn't make any mistakes, but we do. But when you learn from your mistakes, it's all good. So keep on growing and keep on learning. You cannot go wrong. But it might be painful. But no pain, no gain. And you can't beat the blessings. So family, with that in mind, the pyramid, right thinking, right giving, and right eating. That's holistic. Let's be whole and be there for one another. Love ye one another with respect as the foundation. Family, it was a joy and an honor to share with you what I've been blessed with. Take it and go to the next level with it. Peace, Hotep, and Baraka. Happy new journey. Happy new life. Happy new you. This is Dr. Siddiqui Chebaye, your servant forever.